What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back in the next Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick off where we left off, uh, the Russians are engaging us in St. Petersburg and I feel pretty confident about this defence, mainly because we have a very, very strong garrison and their attacking forces are a bit roughshod. I mean they are Russians, so the individual troop, and given the fact that the AI has now a large amount of new and unique units to pick from, then it's not surprising that Russian formations are much more ragtag than they usually are, even in vanilla. But yes, we are, I think, coming towards the tail end of my Mexican campaign, so I'm going to start to do some wrapping up thoughts and things like that. Well, pretty obvious, expanding the, the Americas. It's enough for you. So, let's do this. Then... My hand's a bit close to my microphone. There we go. Let's take my household cavalry. Can they hide it all? Nope. Attempts to keep them out, just to engage with Russian cavalry and make things, keep things a bit more interesting. So they will deploy over there, over to the, to the north and to the west, assuming, well that is north. Good. So let's hold on, my microphone's sank again. So let's try there. Let's try there. Or oh, there. God dang it. Right, yeah, so let's take my howitzers. Deploy them here. Good. A lot of artillery, which is just taking up space. Then let's deploy fusiliers over the gates, because they never seem to charge up the gates. We never seem to scale the gates really, they prefer these these corner sections. So I'm gonna put a unit of Marines on this corner and Marines on this corner. Let's deploy some regular lines, line infantry units just to bulk out the formations a bit. This could be a bit overkill. Well it's usually a bit overkill. Keep my general in the centre, and then I've got two units of guards and a unit of some marines. No, it's a regular line. So let's do some gambling and do. Okay, let's just. So they're coming. They are attacking from the west on the campaign map for some. No, they. Wait a minute. Yeah. So they know they're attacking from the east. They should be deploying over here. I'm sure that would be easy. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm sure. I thought that was west. Never mind. So, to you there, you there. Then, just something there just to slow them up if there are any leakers. Keep these firing round shot for now, ultimately, because I don't mind. It gives them a chance to earn some XP. Actually, to target, to target their artillery. So they are rushing up, which is good. Prefer if you guys manned your position a bit better than that. So, dearly, if I get my cavalry here, if they want to send anyone charge, they'll have to run past this regiment of foot, which will shoot them to bits, and then my cavalry will chop them up. Pound a horse, twelve pound a foot. So they are going to breach. It seems that they are focusing their effort in this section. So let's let's deploy you know. Oh no, there's no really good spots to deploy cavalry. Do you want to put guards inside? No, do I want to put... no, keep guards out out in the fight. Let's put a unit of infantry in ta inside here. Oh, wow. Quick, yep. Yeah, you're definitely going inside now. Let's do this with them. Gets a lot of troops dead. But we are engaging their forces. Don't have to worry about this guerrilla mercenary scaling the walls, that's for sure. Oh, and it's some units of militia and line infantry. 
Good. First units have been repelled. Now you've been you've had some quick claim shot at you, I would wager. See how these chaps aren't it's probably because they're there. So if I move them slightly along. Is that all cavalry? Oh, they have pikes back here as well. I'd very much like them to commit... Oh, that would be bad. Oh, there's a misfire. No, they still got some on the flank. Let's deploy my cavalry. when they fire their volley. Turn off fire at will. Oh, these are... These are... Oh, these are... Stroltsky musketeers. Militia muskets. That's quite handy. So let's get these two to focus fire pikes. Oh, don't get caught on the edge. Okay, let's make you go for them, considering these guys have an absolute penchant to hit the musketeers. Everyone into the mix. To be honest, that unit's pretty damaged. So where are the pikes now? Okay, they're moving up. Let's chase down the militia for now. Good, heavy damage. Let's trot over here. Cuirassiers have been committed. Well, they had been. Diamond formation to the Cuirassiers. If that's any good for cavalry, I don't know. But we have more horses than them. So let's watch carefully if we hit and fire into here with cannonballs. Fortunately, we are hitting the pikes instead. First horse guards are going to be routing. Oh, we are actually doing smart things and. Ooh. Don Cossacks Cavalry, Regiment of Horse, Dragoons. That's not going to be good for me. But not good for the Russians as well. Go straight on. Ah, the Don Cossacks Cavalry have come back. Big believer in my cavalry. Now firing into cavalry, into the combat for some reason. See, they're just shooting into the back of their own cavalry there. Let's run these guys out to engage the Don Cossacks. They're leaving one of my units isolated, but it does. It's that sort of thing that can really screw up my combat. You know what? Let's pull back because their infantry 
for the want of a better word, is starting to do damage. So let's pull back out of range of their quote unquote infantry. We can draw that cavalry with us. All the better. Well, they are still in within range. Goes to fire a well again. Are they retreating or reinforcements? Retreating, good. Let's get these guys to mana position. So when they get within range, it's absolutely a quick climb shot come in, but no real harm done. Right, straight into their remaining. This is what happens, horse grenadier guards, when you choose to dismount. them down. These guys may as well chase down these dragoons because they're heading in the right direction. Let's reorientate my artillery. Yeah, they're routing, so let's commit my general. Absolutely continue. General's probably not going to be able to hit their artillery, but at the very least, I want to kill their kill the cavalry. And I'm getting the chance to kill cavalry on foot. What's not to enjoy there? If you would never. And that's true. It's like the people say when you know, if you'd pause time, what would you do? And far too many people answered, you know, they'd fiddle with people. And like, no, that's a bit uncalled for. Oh, the next garrison's getting ready. Oh, the Swedes are coming to attack Norway. We used land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and Let's produce just, trade. Yeah, keep on upgrading. Can you leave yet? It's only one turn till the next administrative building. Construction, lots of high tier construction going on. Upgrade the artillery building. Oh yes, look at that. A brand new set of elite infantry. Let's get some. Ah oh, yes, already being recruited. Lovely. Because you are on your way. So let's move you this side. And this is a more of an art more of an army for for a siege. Well, I say that. Two units of artillery and a rocket. Does not a happy siege make? Yeah, Prussia, Prussia can keep being Prussia. I don't care. So you're replenishing. You make a siege to Stockholm. To be honest, you start pushing westwards. So hit that little fraction of an army. And what's best to do with you? So you can't hit Finland, not on your not not on your own. So why don't I try make you land 
Don't sail you too close to here because then the navy might kick in. Well, actually, it's a pretty weak navy. Sail you close to Riga. That sounds like a good position to. Sounds like a good position to begin my war or continue my war. To be honest, I might just send that navy up there to bottle up that port. Yep, so they're going to hit Estonia. Trade gained. Jill Cortez mentioned in dispatches. Damn right. What a hell of a defense. Works on strike in Norway. Not anymore, then. Not figured it out. Successful mission. We don't really need anymore, are you? Now we're going to have to start moving against the Prussians. So can we move this army out of Quebec? Can. You're not super happy about it. Then let's move you over here. And to be honest, I can engage them. Full strength. And you're dug in doing nothing. To be honest, I think I've got to just keep you on your toes. Let's go hit El Wild Mooring. fight. Ultimately we have to keep the pressure going and we have to keep the offensive. Without supplies no army is brave. This is true. So this is going to be an offensive battle although I'm against the Prussians I'm going to be getting up in their muzzle. Probably deploy my artillery back here because at least it's on a hill. Got plenty of range. How it says they're going to deploy more up front. I'm going to say dropping quick lime. Let's deploy. Probably. F to be honest, my favourite tactic is to go with a wide, long line and then move up and envelop. Put cover on the right to take this hill. General in the centre. Let's get cracking. Secure that hill. All my artillery is firing. Let's run my infantry up. Because ultimately I want to secure position quickly so who are you going for let's engage their dragoons let's not let that interrupt my battle line no actually you secure that position you get involved in the combat shouldn't really be needed but you never know Some of these guys aren't even ever going to get into position before battle is joined, I think. Let's keep my cavalry on the move. Artillery on the move. Let's pivot this unit of line infantry to fire into the colonial militia. They've started the charge not worked. Charge
turn off all my artillery. Let's get one of these units to blow through. Want to hit that unit of foot artillery. Where's my general? Let's throw him into the mix. There we go. Let's kick off some of that Amazonian fighting style. They are slightly infantry mercenaries are slightly beating my See my guys are slowly catching up with that infantry. Not gonna be as effective as a cavalryman doing it, but you know, them's the brakes. So let's do the old switcheroo. Let's hit the back of these mercenaries to upset them and let's get my colonial line in against the native musketman auxiliary so let's keep my general give my general a bit of free reign chop down the last mercenary go after the foot artillery General is dead, who's probably at the helm of all that tribal auxiliary stuff. You took many, many casualties. Continue, hold fire. Big unit of mercenaries. Yummy, yummy, yum. Let's triple speed it. So they are, uh, they've lost out a bit of pace there. Ooh, they might actually catch them all. It's possible to run down infantry with other infantry. Obviously not going to be as effective. But you know what, I'll take it. So that's the end of them. So you run off to the edge so you don't get caught up in the cavalry charge. And these guys have been smart and they've split up into two groups. They're over there and they're over here, so they're definitely escaping. As are you. So it's this last unit that's the only thing left on the map. Done. Awesome. We've managed to smash that, but you know, that's manageable. Victory! Herberto Delgado. Lovely. Adelante! And they could well get picked up by this army, or they could do some sort of he very heroic sprint to Quebec, thinking about it. No, they wouldn't have enough movement points. But this army... probably? Yeah, they're a bit grumpy, but I can deploy them there to stop them from running around my flank. And then these guys won't be able to run around this guy. Well, I don't think they'll have enough movement points to get to Montreal. If I do that, it maybe it'll provide a tempting target for them to run into to try and upset. I think we can inset we might be able to inset them going around there, maybe. All the construction's done. Raids. Yeah, people are raiding away, that's fine. Prussians are still there. I'm happy to let them 
be there. I can just do that. And that'll stop them from moving over to my capital. So let's run just a bunch of infantry into the mix. Awesome. Platoon firing is done. So how far are we actually from our... Yeah, six more towns. Six more regions from securing... Ah, the British are starting keeping up the tradition of their Irish Sea Patrols. That's nice of them. Barbary State. Well, they got an absolute pounding from that fleet. They won, but at great cost. And many ships... Well, by those people, lots of ships of their own. Fortunately, they're not at war with me, so let them carry on. Ooh, where's that Ottoman fleet going? Yep, and the Austrians have rolled through the continent, but they can't hit me. Pressure's in the way between me and them. Yep, yeah, absolutely, absolutely fine to let the uh, to let the Prussians run around the mainland. I have no interest in securing it. Here comes another Russian. Huh? Will this be a great siege? Oh God, this could be an almighty siege. Well, not almighty. They're actually quite depleted. Um, but I think I am going to fight this battle, but looking at the timer, I think that, that made me overrun massively. So what I'm going to do is cut the end part here. Um, thank you guys for watching, and let's end this part where it started by, def by uh, <laughs> Siege at St. Petersburg. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.